So in this uh, video lecture, we'll continue to look at the SQL operators. We're going to focus on understanding the SQL in operator. So the in operator allows us to specify multiple values in our where clause. Um, it is a shorthand for multiple Boolean or conditions. So instead of having to specify the column name multiple times in an or condition, we can use the in operator for that. So let's look at an example here. So if we have a query that we want to show all the info in the product table for products from suppliers that have a supplier ID of 8, 11, 15, 16, 17. We can answer this query using the SQL or operator. We're going to say select star from product where supplier ID is equal to 8 or supplier ID is equal to 11 or supplier ID is equal to 15 or supplier ID is equal to 16 or supplier ID is equal to 17. So this is the way that we can write the query using an OR operator because every time we use an OR condition multiple times, we need to specify the column name. So this can become tedious when you have multiple conditions. So that is why we have the IN operator where we can separate our IN criteria using comma. So let's look at that same query, how we can write it using an IN operator. So we are going to say select star from product where supplier ID in, and then we have an open parenthesis, and then we are going to put our conditions here separated by commas, and then we close the parenthesis and put a semicolon at the end of our query. So let's go into SQL Workbench, and let's look at that query here. So here I have the first query in you know, using the OR conditions, but we can write it using an in statement as follows. And again, all this is coming from the product table because I'm interested. The query says, let's get all the columns from the product table. Supplier ID is a column in the product table. So it looks good. I can select this and run it. And when I run it, it's going to show me all the columns where the supplier ID is 8, 11, 15, 16, or 17. So you can double check your answers by looking in the query result. Now we can use a not before the in statement. So if we want to write a query that shows all the info in the product table whose supplier ID is not 20, 21, 22, or 23, we can write the query by saying select star from product where supplier ID not in, which means that it's going to pull all the columns from the product table where the supplier ID is not 20, 21, 22, or 23. And I have that query um, written in Workbench here. Um, select star from product where supplier ID not in 20, 21, 22, 23. And then I can select this query and run it. And it shows me my um, results here. And um, if I verify my supplier ID, I should not see a supplier ID that has values of 20, 21, 22, or 23. So the next um, operator that we have in SQL is the between operator. And the between operator selects values within a given range. So just like the name, it's going to fetch values that lies between two values. So ensure the values can be numbers, texts, or dates. But we have to keep in mind that it's going to be inclusive. So it's going to include the value 1 and then all the other values up until value 2. So let's look at an example here. If you need to show all customer info for customers whose customer ID is between 10 and 20, which means it's going to include 10, 11, 12, 13, all the way until 20. If there is a record within the customer table with a customer ID from 10 all the way till 20, it's going to include that. So this is again an easier operator for us rather than having to use the OR statement again and again and again. We can actually use the BETWEEN statement if we know that our query results lie within a range. So here I have SELECT STAR because I want to pull all the records from customer where customer ID, this is my keyword BETWEEN 10 and 20. So keep in mind that when you write your between statement, we are going to do between and then we are going to write the value that it begins with 
and then we use our AND operator here, and then we put the value that it ends with at the end, and then we close it. So let's go ahead and put this query into Workbench. So we have select star from customer, where customer ID between 10 and 20, I can select this, and I can run that, and I have 11 records that I have returned, and I can see my values here. I have all the way from customer ID 10, and it goes all the way till 20. So let's take a, a moment to pause and think if we could have written that same query in an alternate way. So um, we could have written this query using the mathematical comparison operator, the same query instead of using the between keyword, we could have used the keyword of customer ID greater than or equal to 10 and less than or equal to 20. So let's look at that query. So this is an alternate way to write that same query. I have select star from customer, bear customer ID greater than or equal to 10 and customer ID less than or equal to 20. So when I run this query, I'm going to get the same results. I have customer ID 10 all the way until customer ID 20. So it's important to remember that we need to use the greater than and equal to and like greater than or equal to here as well as less than or equal to. So 10 and 20 are included. So between, again, keep in mind, includes the first value as well as the last value. It's inclusive. So let's take a moment to write some practice queries here. So um, query five, let's write an SQL query that shows the order ID, order date, customer ID, total amount where customer ID is 14, 34, 68, 84, and total amount is greater than 500. So try to take a, a pause from the video and try to write this from by yourself. It's important to first examine the tables to see which table do you need to pull this query result from. And then for query six, let's write an SQL query that's going to show all info in the customer table for customers whose customer ID is between 50 and 60 and whose country is Germany. The results need to be sorted by customer last name in descending order. So try to write these two queries by yourself and let's look at the answers. So for query five, um, this is the query here. Um, we have to go back to the question because queries are questions. It's asking us to show order ID, order date, customer ID, total amount. So when all these fields are asked, we need to first ensure that we know which table are we going to pull this from. So when we come to our ZMAX schema, these are the tables that we have. We can take a look at each of the table to review the fields. And if we look at the orders table, we are going to see that we have order ID, order date, customer ID, total amount as fields in that table. So definitely we can use that table to pull this columns from. So we're going to write select order ID, comma order date, comma customer ID, comma total amount. Now it's important not to make any spelling mistakes in these column names. It needs to match exactly with the column names here. And then we're going to say from orders, there's an S here. If you look in here, that's exactly how that table is um, named. Now we put our where condition. So we have multiple customer ID. So instead of having to do where customer ID equals 14 or customer ID equals 34, we can use our in keyword for that. So we are going to say where customer ID in, and then we have our open bracket and we are going to put 14, 34, 68, comma, 84. This is from your question. Don't forget the commas in between and to close the open bracket. And we have an additional condition. We want the total amount field here to be greater than 500. So we are going to use our AND operator. We are going to say total amount greater than 500. And then we can put a semicolon to end our query. So then we can come here, select this and run it. And we are going to see the order ID, order date, customer ID, and total amount. So when we look in customer ID, we should only see these values for customer ID. And the total amount, we shouldn't see anything that's less than 500 here. So we should see 37 um, rows that are returned for this query. Moving on to query six, uh, we are looking at all info from the customer. So we have select star from customer. 
and then it's saying the customer ID is between 50 and 60. So that's how we can write this condition where customer ID between 50 and 60. And we also have a condition that country equals Germany. When you have multiple conditions, you can put your condition in an open parenthesis. Just make sure you have a closing parenthesis as well because you don't want an open parenthesis that's never closed. So we can specify this condition in our where statement. And we also have an additional condition, which is the results need to be sorted by last name in descending order. So we have to say order space by last name space DESE for the descending keyword. And we are going to put a semicolon. So when we write our select statement, the select goes first, the from comes next, where, if you have a where condition, you don't need to have a where condition, but if the question specifies a where condition, we need to put that where condition and we put our order by at the end. So now I can select this query and run it. And I'm going to see that I have two records that got returned that with customer IDs of, um, when we look at our customer ID, it's between 50 and 60. There were only two records that satisfied a customer being from Germany. So keep in mind that this is an and condition. So the customer ID needs to be between 50 and 60. And the country of that customer also needs to be from Germany. So we have two records that would satisfy this query condition.